Good morning, siblings in Christ. My name is Julie Grindle. I'm the assistant to the bishop for candidacy and mobility in the upstate New York Synod. And I'm so happy to be with you on this Saturday morning. Um, it's a beautiful morning. The sun is trying to come out here in Syracuse. I hope it has uh, made an appearance maybe where you are somewhere in upstate New York. And um, for the first time uh, in this uh, time away from each other, um, I'm going to bring you sort of a modified morning prayer. Um, in past Saturdays, I've sort of brought hymns um, and meditations on uh, the Sunday that's coming up uh, in the lectionary, uh, which I love to do as a church musician. Uh, but today, I sort of have some reflections on morning uh, and morning M-O-R-N-I-N-G. Uh, not M-O-U-R-I-N-G, uh, on the morning um, and the gratitude um, that comes with mourning. Um, and especially from the candidacy side of my job, um, I'd like to give thanks for our seminary graduates. Um, and I'm going to do that uh, a little bit later as part of our prayers. <clears throat> and so when you came in just now, uh, you heard me um, giving a hymn introduction. And if you've been here in my Nine at Nines, um, there's a pattern that I've sort of developed, uh, which is that um, I sort of play the hymn that's going to be sung later. Um, most of our hymns are in the ELW, um, and that text is posted. And if you have an ELW, you can see the text uh, and the tune uh, in the book. And I highly recommend that you do that because I often refer to the text. But again, you can see it posted there. Um, but here in our morning prayer today, that text is going to be part of our prayers. And so I do encourage you to take a look at that. Um, I also get a little bit jealous of my colleagues who do these um, nine at nines and my other colleagues who are on Facebook Live who can see the phone, who have it close enough as they're recording to be able to say good morning to all the people who are coming on. I can see notifications coming and I'll say good morning to you, but I, I think I must need new glasses because I can't see all of your names. So I'll just say good morning and I hope you're having a beautiful morning so far today. So I'd like to start today um, with the words of a psalm uh, as part of our morning prayer. And this is Psalm 145. I just need to get there in my ELW here. This is Psalm 145, verses 1 to 4, and then verses 14 to 16. I will exalt you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. There is no end to your greatness. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your power. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. That might be one of my favorite psalm verses in all of the psalms. I'm going to read it again. You open wide your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. I'd also like to bring you um, a Thomas Merton quote today about morning. I um, have the windows open in my house because the temperatures, it's just beautiful outside. I actually let my birds, or my son's birds, uh, stay in the other room so you could hear them because the hymn we're going to sing 
um, references nature and, and I don't want to uh, banish them like I do some days where they're so loud that that's all I can hear sometimes when I'm doing my nine at nine. Uh, but again, this um, Thomas Merton text I think speaks to gratitude uh, for this new day. And he says, sunrise is an event that calls forth solemn music in the very depth of human nature, as if one's whole being had to attune itself to the cosmos and praise God for the new day. Praise God in the name of all the creatures that ever were or ever will be. I look at the rising sun and feel that now upon me falls the responsibility of seeing what all my ancestors have seen in the Stone Age and even before it, praising God before me. When the sun rises, each one of us is summoned by the living and the dead to praise God. It actually reminds me a little bit of uh, when I was with my choir, uh, different choirs actually, I, I can remember saying this to a number of my choirs, and saying to them, especially when we were singing uh, choir anthems that were a little bit more meditative in nature, um, that at the beginning when they started the song, whatever they were singing, um, instead of just starting it, to just sort of think of what they were singing as a continuum that's been sung throughout all of creation. Um, so the song that was started by the Creator in the beginning of time they're just entering into the flow of that song and continuing in that flow and then exiting out. Um, and I think that's sort of a beautiful metaphor for our lives and our being. And my birds apparently agree with me because I'm sure you can hear them in the background. And so now I would like to invite you into some prayer before we sing our morning hymn today. Um, and I would like to offer this prayer, especially for those who uh, graduated from seminary yesterday. So those five graduates that we have here in upstate New York are Rick Mollenkopf Grill, Miranda Hammer, Sohail Akhtar, Wayne Schmitt, and Mark Schluett. So will you pray with me? God, we give thanks for Rick and Miranda and Sohail and Wayne and Mark who graduated from seminary yesterday. We celebrate this accomplishment with them and ask you to shower them with your blessings as they begin their vocations as rostered ministers. Give them the gift of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and the spirit of joy in your presence. Amen. I ask those things for all of you today. As we look at our hymn, Golden Breaks the Dawn, I ask you to look at that text and see for yourself today what little thing you might take away from it. Um, there's so rich uh, of a text that actually, um, you know, there might be little things that you say to yourself today, uh, this, is, this is what will be my touchstone. So uh, perhaps in the second stanza, uh, when we sing, Holy Living God, keep me safe today, though I weary plod, make me kind, I pray. Let me guide our youth, honor weak and old. Let me serve with truth and God's love unfold. Or perhaps, this is um, not a weary day for you. Perhaps you woke with energy and you're ready to work um, and you want to sing the third stanza, uh, give me daily bread while I do my part, bright skies overhead, gladness in my heart, simple wants provide, evil let me shun, Jesus at my side till the day is done. This text can speak to all of us at any point on any day. Um, and so I commend it to you. Uh, you're welcome as always to sing it with me. You're welcome just to listen. You're welcome to have your hymnals open following along. Um, but I um, hope that you are able to pray it with me today in whatever way you are able. And I hope you find blessings uh, in this day 
uh, and thank you for spending time with me this morning. Till the day is done.